All right, so guys, I have an unboxing for you here today. I have the Scythe Big Shuriken Revision B. Um, this is a very slim CPU cooler. I bought it because um, I noticed that in my in my CPU, the temperatures were getting a little higher than I, I would want while rendering video and doing a few other things. Um, so I went ahead and got this. Um, hopefully it'll fit. Um, I know that the socket fits. What I'm wor really worried about with this is the clearance on the RAM slot since it's a mini ITX motherboard. Uh, I'm going to see if this actually fits. So uh, hold on and we're going to unbox this. Okay, so we have the box here. Um, it's the CPU cooler right there. It says it's 58 millimeters, which uh, is about uh, two and a quarter inches. So we just have the box with a few images. It has it in several different languages, as you can see on the back. It just shows all the languages that it's in. Um, it says all of the sockets it's compatible with LGA 775, 1155, 1156, 1336, 2011. Um, and I also uh, made sure before I got this, it's it's compatible with uh, 1150, which is what my CPU is currently. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and open up the box, see what's in here. All right, here we go. So we have the, here's the CPU cooler itself um, with a nice big, I think that's a 120 millimeter fan. Um, let me see. Yeah, 120 millimeter fan um, with the connector. And then also, you see the contact plate right there it has a nice little um, piece of plastic uh, to peel off before installation. You don't want melting plastic in between this and the CPU, all of the copper piping. Um, so I'm just going to set that down right there. Let's see. All right. We have the bracket adapters right here. Um, that comes in the box. We also have hardware with motherboard standoffs. Um, a little a little wrench uh, to install everything with. Um, yep. Uh, there's this, uh, which I believe is also it's the back plate for the motherboard. Um, and we have right here... Let's see, Let's see what this is. All right, yeah, it's just telling you how to install it. Installation instructions for 2011. Okay, so we have. Okay, I think they give you different installation instructions for each different um, each different socket that you're going to be working with. So yeah, so you have the. The CPU cooler itself. Um, you have the hardware necessary to install it. You have all of this. Um, you know, I th read somewhere that it included thermal grease, which it does right there. Okay, so it, yeah, that's in the bag right there as well. So it comes with the thermal grease uh, necessary to install it on the CPU itself. Um, other than that, there's nothing else in the box. Um, you can see this fit in sideways right there, like that. Um, it's got the four pin CPU connector. Um, yeah, so hopefully this is going to work a little bit better than my stock Intel cooler um, and keep the temperatures down. The, the temperatures aren't terrible on my CPU. They're about 60 degrees Celsius, which is fine, but I'm going to see if I can get them a little lower. Um, so stay tuned. I'm actually going to be um, coming up with a video on how to, um, how to actually install the CPU cooler onto the CPU itself. Uh, so stay tuned for that, um, and you can subscribe somewhere probably over here in this area. I'm not quite sure since the camera's facing a different direction. All right, thanks for watching.